Yes, that's it. Music review. The last in and they're away. Fast away over on the far side is Golden Ancona also. And on the near side, music review with Macabre and Sally's Choice up there. Madraco showing very good speed right in the center of the course. And as they begin the run down the hill now, Madraco, one of the leaders from Glencroft, and it's Glencroft in the center of the course. On the stand side, Keen Edge showing tremendous speed from Sully's Choice. It's Keen Edge on the stand side from Sully's Choice. Glencroft in the center of the course with Madraco showing great speed as well. And over on the far side, Careless Whisper and Indian Jubilee. And coming there in the center now, is Bell Bayou with on the near side Madraco and Glencroft. Glencroft with the advantage and Dowsing coming there strongly now. Pat Henry under the stands rails over on the far side. Micro Love with Careless Whisper. Dorking Lad putting in a good run. Glencroft has the advantage from Dowsing though. Rotherfield Grace is putting in a great challenge. They come to the line. Rotherfield Grace has just taken it up as they come to the line. Rotherfield Grace has won it from Glencroft and Dowsing. They're the one, two, three with fourth the favorite master pokey and so the result of the 1988 stewards cup first number seven rutherfield grays owned by mrs d gleason trained by chris wall at newmarket and written by nigel day second was number 36 the long-time leader on the stand side glencroft owned by mr martin wayne and mr david chapman trained by david chapman and written by alan proud and third was number one, Dowsing, owned by Mr. Colin Abdullah, trained by Jeremy Tree, ridden by Pat Edry. Fourth was number six, Master Pokey. So another great uh, triumph there for a well-backed horse, officially named fourth just now, uh, Master Pokey, with Rotherfield Grays, winner now of eight of his 33 races at the lineup they'd won 128 of their 677 races these sprinters and rotherfield grays the six-year-old came out the best a great triumph the biggest triumph in his career for nigel day which we can review with julian wilson yes a typical stewards cup uh, and in the end it was the center and the near side who had the best of it glenn croft as you can see was leading at this point uh, madraco well up there and dousing under his top weight running a terrific race on the stand rails a nigel day who has drawn nine on rotherfield gray just looking for racing room here and eventually challenging on the outside of dousing didn't immediately have room but he's pulled round glencroft in plenty of time as they come to the distance here to drive his mount uh, and very willing mount today past the long time leader glencroft Dowsing, as I say, has run a wonderful race under top weight. Uh, behind the leaders, Dorking Lad, and the favourite, finishing well, but uh, never closer than in fourth place, Master Pokey. But the further they go, the further Rutherfield Gray streaks clear for a memorable Stewards Cup win from.